Elasticity of demand and total revenue. Let's look at this linear demand curve. At $10, no one is willing to buy, and so if no one's willing to buy, the firm brings in no total revenue. Yet, if the price goes down to $9, 10 units will be purchased in the marketplace. Notice that 9 times 10 is 90, and on the graph down below, it shows that total revenue is going up. So as I'm lowering the price now from 9 to $8, 20 units are now going to be purchased in the marketplace. The total revenue, looking at the graph down below, goes up to 160. So as I keep lowering the price, notice that the total revenue keeps going up. 7 times 30 is 210. 6 times 40 is 240, 5 times 50 is 250. Do you notice as I keep lowering the price, the total revenue keeps going up, but it keeps going up at a decreasing rate. Notice as I keep lowering the price to $4, though, if I lower the price to $4, I sell more units in the marketplace, but my total revenue now, 4 times 60, begins to go down. And as I lower my price again, the quantity demanded is 70 times 3 is 210. The total revenue keeps going down, looking at the graph below. So as you keep lowering the price, the total revenue keeps going down. So what we have are three portions of this graph. We have the upper portion. As you lower the price, the total revenue goes up. You lower the price, the total revenue goes up. We call this elastic. And here, if you lower the price and total revenue keeps going down, then we call that inelastic. And at or around $5, where the total revenue is maximized, we call that unit elastic.